This lesson deals with Supplemental Problem 3.8. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the Chapter 3 Supplemental Problems on page 8. Given this circuit, could you find the Thevenin equivalent between terminals A and B? As you might call in the notes, this is a two-step process. The first is to find the open circuit voltage. Since there's no load hooked up here, we're just going to find the voltage across terminals A and B. Let's do a source transformation, make this into a series circuit. So I'll have 2 amps times 5 ohms, and that would be 10 volts, and then we in series with a 5 ohm resistor. Now since there's no current flowing in the open circuit here, that means there's no voltage across here. So the voltage across here is the same as the voltage across here. If I had just one voltage source, I could use the voltage divider row. So let's do that. Let's take this 10 volt source and let's slide it over to here. And I'll have the minus terminal and the minus terminal come together, so the drop would be 24, and then the drop would be minus 10. So these two together would give me effectively 14 volts. So we're going to take the voltage across the 4 ohm resistor, divided by the sum of all the resistances, which would be the 4 ohms, the 3 ohms, the 2 ohms, and the 5 ohms, and then multiply that by the difference of these two power supplies, which is 14 volts. And that turns out to be 4 volts. Now to find the Thevenin resistance, we're going to set all the independent sources equal to zero. In this case, it's a short circuit for the 24 volt battery and an open circuit for the current source that was here, or you could short that 10 volt source. Okay, so I've got three in series with two in series with five, and all that's in parallel with four, and then all that's in series with one. These three added together, that's 10 ohms, in parallel with four, product over the sum would be 40 over 14, and then we're gonna to add to that the one ohm. In other words, when you have one resistance here, between these two terminals. We're going to add that in series then with the 1 ohm. And that's 3.857. So my Thevenin equivalent circuit, I found the voltage between nodes A and B, and it was positive. So the positive sign on V Thevenin will be near that terminal A, and the minus near terminal B, or in this case is terminal B, and then the Thevenin resistance of 3.857. And this is supplemental problem 3.8.